criminals often resort to violent tactics in an attempt to escape the police. But what happens when the suspect tries flirting with the officer to avoid jail time? Here are three women who got caught red-handed flirting with the cops. Starting with Jenna Maldonado, who was pulled over by an officer due to a suspicion of a possible DUI situation. Little did the officer know that this encounter was about to become one of the most hilarious moments of his career. You're gonna put it in my mouth. I'll put it in your mouth. Oh, this is interesting. It all began quite uneventfully as the officer checked Jenna's license and registration. He inquired about the reason behind her lane swerving without using signals. In response, Jenna remained remarkably composed and answered with brutal honesty. Maybe that was a side effect of the one beer she had drunk earlier. Went over the line. I will tell you I don't ever signal. Okay. Well, you... So that is an honest thing, but okay. I don't ever signal. Uh, there's a lady in the car. How much did you drink today? Uh, earlier. How much was, how much was there? I a beer earlier. Just one beer? About a beer. About a beer? About a beer. So the, was, it, was it one beer or was it more than one beer? About a beer. Aside from the vague beer count, Jenna was surprisingly open with the officer, answering his questions as if she were completely innocent. She even switched to a higher-pitched voice, a common sign of women's attraction. Speaking with a higher voice pitch when talking to men can be a tool to reduce the amount of mating effort that women expend to attract and retain preferred mates. In addition to that, Jenna kept smiling at the officer's face throughout the whole reaction test. It's reasonable to suggest that the officer and Jenna appeared to have a notable chemistry. Interestingly, the subtle hints of attraction seemed to intensify between them as they continued their interaction. So happy. Oh, sorry. I literally feel like I have a. Yeah, you do. Yeah, you do. And it's bothering me. Thank it you. Out. You're not married? Why not? I was once before. Yeah? Yeah, no, no more. What life. Life happens. Sometimes you just fly out of love. It just doesn't work out. How old are you? How, how do you think I am? I mean, you look kind of young. Okay. Thank you. I'm not young. 42? Well, thank you. I'm, I'm, I'm almost 50. Until this point, Jenna and the officer remained within acceptable boundaries. However, the situation took a significant turn when it was time to collect Jenna's breath sample. Okay, right now the machine, right now the machine says, please blow until the tone stops. Let me know if you want to give me two breath samples. Where should I blow? What's that? Where should I blow? Well, if you want to, just tell, okay, so right here's a brand new mouthpiece. No one's ever used it. Okay. What you're gonna do is you take a deep breath and blow like a balloon. Don't stop blowing until I tell you to. You're gonna put it in my mouth. I'll put it in your mouth. Oh, this is interesting. Okay, tell me one. Yeah, whenever you're ready. Take a deep breath and blow. Like, like, like a balloon. Harder, harder. Okay, there you go. Okay, blow constantly like a balloon. Like blow, like blow up a balloon. You know, you know how big a balloon, balloon is. Take well, a I deep have breath. an idea in my mind, and it seems weird. Sorry. Okay, don't let it be weird. So what now? Take a deep breath and blow hard like a balloon. Harder, 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 harder. Keep going. Don't stop. Don't change your flow. Up. Oh, you change your flow. Take a deep breath from your lungs and blow hard. Well, you're almost you're almost twice the legal limit. Twice the legal limit. You're not wrong. No, I'm not. Cause I heard you's right. Take a deep breath and blow. You're wrong. <laughs> harder. Harder. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Up. Oh, up. Oh, you change your flow. Yeah, you did because the machine actually knows. So, deep breath. Like, That's fine. I'm trying. I know. I know you're doing what you asked. Hard breath. Hard. Harder. Keep that tone going. Harder. Nope. Nope. Keep going. More. Nope. You, you keep stopping. <laughs> <laughs> you, come on. Come on, Jenna. You got this. Take a deep breath and blow. Oh no, it's not that. It's funny. It's what you're saying. What, what am I saying? Keep going. Okay. Keep going. <laughs> okay. Take a deep breath Sorry. and blow. One big breath. Nope, not hard enough. <laughs> Good. Harder. Keep that tone going. Harder. Harder. Oh, nope. Hard. Do you hear that tone? You don't, do you? Yeah, that's because you're not blowing hard enough. <laughs> Take a deep breath. 
One big breath and blow hard. I'm trying. Hard. Nope. Keep going. Nope. You here. Here. Maybe. Maybe if you stand up. Let's stand up, Jenna. I don't think that's gonna work. It might. You never know. We'll try it. Take deep breath and blow hard. Harder. You're not. You're not blowing. Cause the, yeah. No. Blowing. You're not blowing a feather off your hand. Blow a balloon up. A nice big breath. I'm doing my best for you. Thank you. Keep up. No. Nope. Okay. Hey, Jenna. Here. You see me. I know. I, and I'm I, blowing. Yeah, but you're not blowing hard enough. So take a deep breath and like this. Just keep, just like that. Let's try that one. Ready and go. Harder. Nope. Harder. I'm going harder. Harder. Nope. Keep going. Don't stop. Oh, don't. You keep changing harder. I'm not changing anything. Hard. Just like that. Nope. Keep going. Don't stop. Don't stop. Almost. Nope. Keep going. Nope. Okay. I am trying my hardest for you. Thank you. Jenna's giggles and open expressions of attraction towards Officer Lefebvre make it evident that she is finding it difficult to control herself. She becomes increasingly forward, dropping suggestive remarks about the breath sampling method. However, Officer Lefebvre remains composed and unresponsive to her advances. He even skillfully dodges an almost direct invitation for a date. A date tomorrow? Well, you're gonna be in jail, girl. I may have to go off if you were to just take me home. I'd have, I'd have got fired. No, I can't. I, I, I can't be taking you home. Jenna's hopes were dashed, and she had to spend a night in jail. Given the fact that Officer Lefebvre is widely recognized as a seasoned pro among police officers, any potential seduction techniques were unlikely to work on him. Which can't be said about this officer, who was left blushing in disbelief. Karina Armando was arrested for a DUI when driving home from a local Irish pub. Even before the officer initiated a traffic stop, Karina pulled over voluntarily by herself. Hi! The reason I'm stopping you... Well, I, actually, I didn't stop you. Why did you stop? Let me ask you that. I'm sorry. Okay. So, where are you coming from right now? She's coming from Thatcher's. From Thatcher's? Yeah. Okay. Gotcha. All right. So you came straight from Thatcher's? Karina immediately admitted she's been to a pub. The officer immediately proceeded to conduct a standardized field sobriety test. Seeing her struggle to step out of her car, it is arguable whether any sort of test is even necessary. Can you say the alphabet from the letter E to the letter P for me without saying it? E through P. The main purpose of the alphabet test is to assess the ability to divide your attention between a mental task and a physical task. In this case, Karina is so clearly under the influence, the officer doesn't require her to stand still. It's not a surprise, Karina failed this test. Upon arriving at the police station, Karina's behavior slightly changed. It's almost as if she enjoys the interaction with officers. She is less cocky and begins to be flirtatious. Karina, we just got to take some pictures. There's this gray background on the wall over here. So we're going to go over here. We're going to take three pictures. You're just going to... Yep, I'm going to have to do that every time. Like you said before, it's procedure. So I just got to do this every time, all right? I don't think you're going to fight me or anything like that, but it's what we got to do. Hell no. All right. I'm not going to. So if you make your way over that gray background, and if you face just forward at that gray blob over there, or black blob, that's a camera. Um, and we'll just tell you if we need you to adjust at all. So if you go ahead and look straight on at it for me until we get you to do the next one. That's it. Yes, that's it. Yep, so you come take a seat back over here. Oh, 
have me back. My boy. All right. Uh, this hand or this hand? Okay. One that's not struggling. So. All right. Here. As things go on, her playfulness intensifies, and so does her attention to the officer. Tests. Do you understand these rights which I have just read to you? Yes. Okay. I appreciate it. Are you married? I am. My wife will appreciate that, actually. The officer then reads her rights and describes the process of taking a breath sample. He emphasizes that a refusal to provide a breath sample will lead to a charge on top of the DUI. Unfortunately for Karina, it seems to be the wrong time to ask her to make a logical decision. She refuses to provide a breath sample as she's clearly more focused on maintaining a deep eye contact with the officer. But clearly, it must have worked, as officers allowed her to call her father to pick her up as she will be released pending her first court appearance. Knowing she's going home tonight, Karina's mood only gets better. She proceeds to crack multiple jokes before making one of the younger police officers blush. A moment he will remember for quite some time, and the rest of the footage is just pure joy. I'm in so much trouble. Well, hopefully you could at least get to your bed and figure it out in the morning. Hell yeah. Key number five. Yeah. Okay. Feel free to use the handrail. Merka. Just take it slower right here. I my, fall up these my, stairs. My um my pronouns are you as a thing. All I gotta say is my was classy. Uh, let me just explain to you real quick. I will cry about them later. There's two no. tickets there because there's a the court date, man. so I have to tell you. Hey. I know you. Yeah. Why is that? Oh, that meant I was like mean in it, like a, You meant it in an endearing way? Yeah. Okay. Well hi. <laughs> yeah. Sometimes we don't get it in that kind of way, so it's always in that kind of way. Wow, Montville police station's kinda nice. Yeah. Yeah. Not bad. Karina was booked with driving while intoxicated, refusal of breath testing, reckless driving careless driving, and failure to maintain lane. In the end, that was pretty sweet. If anything else, at least she made this young cop's day. But the next suspect's flirting was a bit more aggressive than that. Naomi Furrer, a Hooters waitress from Switzerland, was still wearing her Halloween costume when cops pulled her over. It is not uncommon that DUI drivers try to bribe the police officer to avoid consequences. But Naomi certainly took it a bit too far. It all started when the officer checked the license plate and found out that not only the plates expired almost a year ago, but also Naomi had a suspended driver's license. I said your fake cut had scared me when I walked up. Oh. I forgot tomorrow's Halloween. I'm like, oh boy. I, Did you know your license was suspended? I apologize about that. Naomi tries to play it cool and tells the officer that she's just on her way to pick up her friend. But her outfit and the fake blood immediately tells a completely different story. Somebody should tell her she's not exactly the best liar. So where's the club wrist band from? Pardon? Where's the club wrist band Oh, from? that was from the other night. That was from, like, Friday, I think, or something. I thought, I'm sorry. All right. Do me a favor, hop out real quick. Yep. Let's have... All right. We'll come right back over here so we don't get hit. All right. So, listen, tonight's not my first night doing this. Okay. Where are y'all really coming from? Because your eyes are bloodshot and glossy, your speech is slightly slurred. I'm just very tired, that's all. There's alcohol coming up again. Okay? Check your eyes, do a couple exercises, make sure you're okay? After a failed sobriety test, there was no other option than to arrest Naomi. For some reason, she just couldn't wrap her head around it and tried to negotiate with the cops. But I did everything okay. that you asked. Please, sir, I can't have a DUI. Please. Okay. I'll do everything. I literally, I promise. Sir, I'm from Switzerland. I can't have a DUI. You are going to jail for DUI. Please, sir, please. It's it's out of my hands. I wish okay. I, I'll pick myself up. Please, sir. I don't want to go out it's, of the U.S. Please. It's, it's, please, sir. That's, it's okay. going to ruin my whole life. That, that does, a DUI does not mean that you're going to up and be deported. Yes, because I'm from Switzerland. I don't, I'm on a green card. She tried to play the sympathy card. But when that didn't work, 
She upped her game. And this is the moment when desperate Naomi decides to make them a truly unusual offer. Do you do you have a pair of a shorts or something in here that we can put on oh, to cover please. you up a little bit? Jersey. I'll put that on her. Please, sir, please. I'll take everything off. Please don't charge me, but I don't want to go to jail. Please, sir. I don't, I don't want you to take everything off. Please, sir, not tonight, please. I'm, I'm going to... I promise I'll have somebody pick me up and drive me home. I promise. I'm, I'm going to show you a little bit of decency and cover you up a little bit. You don't, you don't, you don't want to go into jail looking like that. Please, Please. Ma'am, there's nothing we can do, and it's completely out of our hands, okay? Yeah, we but you listen, can listen. make a decision about arresting me. I listen. promise I'll have somebody drive me home. Listen. I promise, please. We didn't do this. You put yourself in this situation. We're just a consequence of your decisions tonight, okay? I, I, I'm happy that you're going to jail and that you're not in a body bag or that you didn't kill a family driving up the road. I really don't want to kill myself. I don't want to be in this situation. Okay. I really want to be dead. I really Calm don't down. want to be in this situation. Not even Naomi's 100th attempt didn't work on these cops who both went beyond to comfort her by explaining the subsequent procedures. Anyway, Naomi was placed in the backseat of a police vehicle while the officers searched her car, where they found a small whiskey bottle and a can of hard seltzer. Not so surprisingly, both were empty. Naomi was then transferred to the police station where she refused to provide a breath sample. Following the trial, she was sentenced to 12 months probation, 50 hours of public service and $500 fine. Unfortunately, just a few weeks before the trial, she received another citation for driving while her license was revoked. She will face the jury the 19th of September, 2023. Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more videos like this.